Hello everyone and I welcome all of you to online study for you one step solution for all your placement needs friends so now I am going to solve few of the questions which was asked in the 9 a.m. Goldman Sachs examination and 11 a.m. shift of Goldman Sachs examination this question has been shared by the student and let us try to solve the question number one without wasting any time so question number one is the problem from the topic direction in reasoning okay now let us see how can we solve it easily Simran was going to her friend house starting from her house she walked 100 meter eastward so before solving direction question we need to make one basic diagram of direction so north east south and west so Simran went 100 meter so Simran went 100 meter eastward okay no problem then she took a left turn and walked for 75 meter then she is taking a left turn so clockwise means right anti clockwise means left so put your pin point here so she is going 75 meter after turning left okay that also we have done it here after which she took a left turn again and walked for 110 meter again she is taking a left so put your pin point here clockwise means right anti clockwise means left and this time she is going for 110 meter okay so 110 meter will be more than 100 meter okay that is also done then she took another left turn and walked for 155 meter put your pen point here clockwise will be right anti clockwise will be left and this time she is going for 155 meter see till here it will be 75 meter because this is parallel and after that she is going for another 80 meter that means total she is going for 155 meter okay now she has reached here she took a final left turn and walked for 160 meter so this will be your right and this will be your left pen point now 160 160 means this is 110 and plus 50 more so this is total 160 meter and then Simran see Simran has started from her house and now she has reached to her friend place okay her friend's place now what has been asked in the question so in which direction is Simran house from her friend house Simran house is here and her friend house is here so from her friend house if you'll see so from her friend house if you'll see you'll feel that Simran house is in this direction this direction is nothing but northwest so option C you can tick the answer and you can proceed friends no need to find out the shortest distance between their houses unnecessary do not waste your time five marks you got it here but anyway I will tell you so friends you can see basically this distance I need to calculate so let me take another pen here so this distance basically you have to calculate okay now so I should be knowing this distance then only I can use Pythagoras theorem so this is nothing but 80 okay and total was 110 this was 100 okay so this much distance is 10 meter total is 160 so my other distance will become 150 meter now I have to calculate hypotenuse so hypotenuse will be equal to perpendicular plus base square so 80 square plus 150 square 6400 plus 22500 will be nothing but equal to 28900 so 289 square root will be 17 with 10 so 170 meter but this part was not required here moving towards question number two friend question number two was asked in the examination 11 am shift find the next number in the sequence so the sequence is 21 35 41 59 61 and what so when there is two series here one series is this one so 21 plus 20 then 41 plus 20 will be 61 and one series here so 9 minus 5 is 4 and 5 minus 3 is 2 that means 24 difference again if I add 24 9 4 3 and 7 plus 1 is 8 83 will be the correct answer question number 2 friends I am not making the today's question very much lengthy because the reason is you have the examination in some time okay now a reduction of 20 percent in the price of wheat enables Pratik to buy 5 kg wheat for rupees 320 then what is the original price for the wheat first understanding the question is very very important so friends basically earlier suppose 320 rupees if the price was 10 then how many kg you were getting you were getting 32 kg now suppose the price has been reduced 
द प्राइस हैज बीन मेड इट फाइव रुपीज देन फाइव सिक्स जा थर्टी एंड फाइव फोर जा सो यू विल बी गेटिंग सिक्सटी फोर के जी सो नाउ यू विल बी गेटिंग वॉट थर्टी टू के जी मोर वेन द प्राइस इज रिड्यूस्ड सो दिस इज वन बेसिक एग्जाम्पल टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट एक्चुअली हैज बीन टोल्ड इन द क्वेश्चन सी वेन द प्राइस वॉज टेन रुपीज दैट टाइम ए पर्सन वॉज गेटिंग थर्टी टू के जी ऑफ वीट नाउ वेन द प्राइस इज रिड्यूस्ड दैट टाइम द पर्सन इज गेटिंग that time the person is getting nothing but 64 kg of wheat okay so now solving this problem we can use two method one is your option attack method and another is your process so normal method process okay now so friends suppose earlier the price was price of wheat was x rupees per kg okay wheat was x rupees per kg so how many kg you were getting so 320 divided by x 320 divided by price per kg will give you how many kg you are getting it now the price has been reduced by 20% so earlier x rupees per kg so if you reduced by 20% then basically you have to pay 80% of the price that means you have to pay 4x by 5 now 4x by 5 so 5 will go up okay now so how many kg difference is there earlier 32 now you are getting 5 kg of difference clear okay 320 i will take it common then 5 divided by 4x minus 1 divided by x will be equal to 5 so lcm 4x so this is 5 minus xx cancel 4 will be equal to 5 this 320 i will send it this side so 1 divided by 4x will be equal to 5 64 times 1 by 64 so 4 16 times x will be nothing but 16 rupees per kg this you could have also done like this so earlier 320 okay now so option 1 i will take earlier the price was 16 rupees per kg right see already we have got the answer 16 rupees per kg what is the original price already we have got it here now the same thing so option for this answer for this question will be option a x is equal to 16 now option attack so option attack what i am doing so the price was 320 rupees right earlier the price what i have assumed is original price 16 rupees per kg now there is a there is a reduction in the price of 20% means you just have to pay now 80% of whatever you are paying okay so friends 80% of 16 will be what so 24 ja and 25 ja right so now friends the reduced price will become 64 by 5 right okay so i will write 64 and is 5 will go up okay now now just try to solve it so what i could see is so 4 16 times and 4 80 times and 16 5 ja so 5 into 5 25 and here it is 20 yes so we are getting the difference of 5 kg when the price reduction is 80 20% right okay so option a no need to check other options so by option attack also you will be able to solve the question so friends however you are comfortable in the exam you can go with that so this was 11 am question now so friends p q and r can complete a piece of work in 20 days 25 days and 32 days so friends as i said this is a time and work very good question which was asked in the today's exam so p can complete a work in 20 days q can complete the work in 25 days and r can complete the work in 32 days first thing what we will do we will take the lcm so lcm of 20 25 and 32 so 2 10 ja and 25 2 16 ja and then 2 5 ja 25 2 8 ja and then 5 1 ja 5 5 ja 8 so 2 into 2 is 4 and 4 into 5 is 20 20 into 5 is 100 100 into 8 is 800 okay this will become your total work now so friends we have considered only this statement right now okay so 20 40 times this is efficiency that means p can complete 40 work in a day okay then 25 4 ja 32 q can complete 32 work in a day and then 32 if we try to divide 32 5 uh, 5 ja will be 160 so 25 times so r will be able to complete 25 work in a day next p is twice as efficient as s so one more s is also there now so friends p efficiency is what they are telling the efficiency of p is two times of s so p efficiency is 40 so s efficiency i will assume 20 right because p efficiency is two times so if p is 40 q will uh, s will definitely be 20 right because p efficiency is two times more than s right okay 
So P efficiency is twice as efficient as S. Okay, so this is done. So you will not have any doubt here. Now, all of them start together, uh, start work together for five days. That means P, Q, R and S, all of them are going to work for first five days. So P can complete 40 work in a day, Q 32, R 25 and S 20 and they are going to work for five days. Okay, now total 117 into 5, 5, 7, 35 and 5, 8, 5. Now, so what is the remaining work? So I will calculate the remaining work now because 585 work is already done by PQRS in the first five days. 10 minus 5 is 5, 9 minus 8 is 1 and 7 minus 5 is 2. So 215 work is still remaining. Now let us read. Then P and R worked for a few days alone. We don't know how many days. On the last day, S alone completed the work. Okay. So last day, that means S worked, that means S worked last day. That is one day. Okay. One day or last day. So in one day or last day, S can finish how much work? 20. Because S efficiency is 20. So 200 minus 20, that means 195. Now this 195 work, who would have done? So 195 work definitely P and work R would have done because they only worked for few days. So P can do 40 work in a day. Okay. And R can do 25 work in a day. So they can basically complete 65 work in a day. So 195 work was pending. Okay. Now, and who would have done definitely P and R they only worked alone. So that is nothing but three times. Okay. That is nothing but three times. Okay. Okay. So total. So if I will tell, see first five days all together worked, then three days P and R worked and the last day S worked. Okay. Now let us come to the question. So if S was paid 960 rupees for his work. Okay. So S, how many days S worked? So five days S worked here, right? 